What did we do to deserve the banger of a match that started Monday Night Raw? Drew McIntyre versus Cody Rhodes, they were putting on a show. It's a shame Solo showed up and ruined everything, giving Cody his second loss since he returned to WWE. Backstage, Seth Rollins approached Cody and it really looked like they're going with this tag team match for night one at WrestleMania. I mean, it would make sense. The Rock is old, Seth is injured, but I don't see them making Cody and Roman pull double duty. Next, we got DIY, Miz, and R-Truth versus Judgment Day. R-Truth is hilarious and delusional as always thinking DIY is DX. I believe they even did the suck it shops after the match. That was funny. But Judgment Day came out on top. I assume this would be ending the stuff with R-Truth. Another banger of a match ruined by the bloodline, Jay Uso versus Gunther. There were rumors that Jay was actually going to take the title here. I don't agree with Jay taking the title. I believe that title should be won by someone up and coming. Braun Breaker, Carmelo Hayes, Trick Williams, maybe even Chad Gable. Any one of those guys should be the one to defeat Gunther for that title. Jay Uso does not need the Intercontinental Championship, especially not breaking a historic reign. There was a women's battle royal for the last spot in Elimination Chamber, and guess what? Raquel Rodriguez is back, and she won the match. I still don't see Raquel win an Elimination Chamber. It's got to be Bianca or Becky. Who would you rather see Rhea Ripley face? at WrestleMania. And finally, Chad Gable versus Ivar. I felt like we saw this match a thousand times. They do seem like they're building Chad Gable back up, perhaps to take the Intercontinental Championship from Gunther. Other than that, I'm getting tired of seeing this combination of Viking Raiders versus Alpha Academy. I think it's about time both of them move on. There was some backstage stuff, Andrade's going by Andrade, El Lidolo, and WWE, and the New Day Challenge Imperium to a no disqualification match. I'm looking forward to seeing that one next week. Overall, I feel like this Raw was more entertaining than others. This was good for a go-home show for a pay-per-view.